welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 current 2019 favorites. And this is just a mixture of clothing and beauty products and basically everything that I am loving right now that I'm wearing, that I'm using, and that I want to recommend for you guys because I love all these things. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natalie and I film fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. So if you think those videos would interest you, please consider subscribing below. And if you guys like my video at the end, then please give it a thumbs up. That would be great. Okay, so to start off, my first product I want to show you guys is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. I think it's called the Coconut Perfect Tantastic. This is a matte bronzer and honestly you guys, it blends out so easily and beautifully. I've tried a few bronzers within the last year and nothing quite compares to this one. So I am wearing it right now and I did apply it in my weekday makeup routine video and I'll put that up for you guys so you guys can check out that video. But I do wear this every day. It blends out really, really well and really easily. I don't find that like I need to sit there and blend and blend and blend and blend for a bunch of times. It just goes on and it goes on fairly light but it builds really easily a, a natural everyday look or you can actually build it up to have a more dramatic look. I really, really love this one. I get this one from Sephora. And yeah, I think this one is absolutely amazing. You guys gotta check this one out for sure. My second item that I wanna show you guys are my Valentino Rockstud Slingbacks. And these I picked up in a size 36. In a pump, in a Valentino pump, I generally wear a size 37. So with the flats, I'm finding that I do have to go down a full size. Um, I am normally a size 6, so with these ones, I needed a size 36. So I grabbed these ones um, in the Essence May sale. I originally was looking for the full pump, or sorry, the full flat with the enclosed heel. They didn't have my size and the ones that I wanted. They didn't have the colors that I wanted. I did really want to get the Pudra color. This one is the Pudra color. And um, yeah, and the ones that they had available, they just didn't have enough of a discount for me to feel that it was worth it to grab them at the time. So I didn't actually know that these ones even existed, but I saw them, I thought, okay, I'll try them. And I absolutely love them. And I think the reason why I really, really, really like them is that they have been comfortable from day one, from the very first wear. And I've been wearing these ones a lot. I got these ones, like I said, in the spring. I wore them all through the spring, the summer, and I'm actually still wearing them fall and winter, even though they are a sling back. Um, but the reason why I think these ones are super, super comfortable and worth it is because they don't have the back, the enclosed back. I've heard that with the patent leather, and I'm not sure if that applies to the regular leather as well, the pebbled leather, or the smooth leather, they have a few different leathers that you can choose from. Um, but I've heard that the leather on the back can really, really rub and eat away at your heel, the skin on your heel. These ones, because there's nothing there, these ones never had anything to rub on. So from the get-go, these ones have been absolutely super, super comfortable. And I just love them. I've dressed them up, I dress them down, and I can't really honestly say enough good things about these. These are absolutely great. Okay, so number three on the list is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is the MM size in the Demi Ibin canvas, and I have it in the Rose Ballerine interior. I'm so glad that I did get it in the Demi Ibin canvas. Because of the treated leather, it makes it so easy for everyday use. It doesn't matter if it gets wet, if you're caught in the rain or now that it's winter time, if we actually get snow. It doesn't matter if it's gonna be snowing, I can still use this because this is treated and it doesn't matter with moisture. I am a mum, I have three kids, so I'm always throwing things in my bag and the fact that it's just an open top makes it so easy to do that and it's big. I have a lot of room for all of my everyday essentials. And the pouch, the pouch that it comes with is so super handy. I absolutely love this bag. I can't say enough good things about it and it definitely had to make my top 10 favorites because I love it. So number four on my list is my Louis Vuitton Clemence wallet and I have this in the monogram with the fuchsia interior and I did just get this wallet recently just a few weeks ago. I did a luxury unboxing for you guys. You guys can check out that video. I've been using it pretty much on an everyday basis since I filmed that and so I feel now that I've used it quite enough that I can say yes I recommend this and it definitely is one of my current top 10 favorites. Previous to that I was using my Louis Vuitton Zippy multi cap wallet and and it is quite a bit smaller, so it's so nice to have a full-size wallet where I can keep anything that I want in here, coins, cash, cards. I would definitely recommend this if you are looking for a full-size wallet. 
Okay, so number five on my list is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Gloss. This is the Latex Love Belle Du Soir, and I'm actually wearing it right now on my lips. I wear this one a lot, and I actually pair it with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pillow Talk Lip Liner. I'm wearing them both right now, and I just think it's really nice. It's nice for daytime wear, but it's also really, really great for evening wear, and it is so long-lasting. It's a little sticky. Um, I'm not sure if that helps that it keeps it applied on your lips, but I can eat, I can drink, and it's not a liquid lip. It's definitely a lip gloss, but it stays on your lips like a liquid lip. It does have a little bit of, it's almost like a floral scent. I know I read a lot of comments and reviews online about it, and a lot of people were turned off by that. I honestly think it smells really nice. I don't think that's a deterrent at all, but I love the color. It's definitely like a nude color, and I love nude, so this was definitely a lip product that I wanted to try. I was told when I got this that it was a limited edition product. That was probably about last February. So I went online and on Sephora it was already sold out. I actually ended up buying this on the Charlotte Tilbury website. And yeah, that was last February. And luckily for you guys, because I stocked up because I thought it was going to be discontinued and I loved it, but it is still available on the website. So if you guys want to try this, you can definitely still pick that up on there. I'll list the link below, but I absolutely love it. I would definitely recommend that you guys check it out, but it is amazing. I think it works really, really well. Okay, so number six on my list is the Kiehl's Kiehl's, Kiehl's, I'm not positive how you pronounce it, but I'll do a close-up so you guys can see. So it's the Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Salve, and this is a hand cream, and it's absolutely amazing for the cold winter weather. I get really, really dry hands in the winter, and this, honestly, after like a couple applications, maybe two nights or so, I generally apply it at night before bed. It's great. I've actually purchased a few of them. Um, they have one smaller size that I use in like my handbags, um, and then they have, this is the larger size. This one's the best value. So if you're gonna be getting any one of the sizes, I would definitely recommend this one um, I buy this actually from the independent store that we have at our shopping mall um, but I know you can also purchase it at Nordstrom's I'm not sure they may have it at Holt Renfrew but I'm sure they have it at most large department stores but definitely check this one out if you guys are looking for a hand cream this one works amazing so it's definitely in my top 10 favorite products I use this one all the time this is actually the sweater that I'm wearing this sweater is from Old Navy and I don't normally buy my sweaters from Old Navy I generally get them from Aritzia or the Gap. Um, I just find that if it's a wool blend, it's going to be a better quality and then it lasts me a little bit longer. This sweater though is a blend of cotton and I think it's acrylic and it's actually been wearing really, really well. So online it's called the V-neck Shaker Stitch Sweater and it's in the color Salmon Pink and honestly it was the color that I originally fell in love with. I got it in the size small. I have washed it since I've got it and it hasn't stretched out at all so that actually is a really big plus and I was worried that it was gonna do that. So this sweater originally is $50. I thought I was getting a really great deal when I got it for 40 bucks. You guys, it's online right now for $30. That is such a great price for this sweater. You guys definitely need to check it out. Like I said, it's from Old Navy. And there are a couple size options available. The salmon pink color is definitely available, so you guys should definitely check it out. Okay, so number eight on my list is my TNA Super Puff Jacket that I got from Aritzia. I got it in the matte black, and it's not the crop version. It's the next one down, so it's like the mid-length one. It's not the long one. Um, and yeah, I got it in a size small and I still have quite a bit of room inside so I can definitely layer it up with a sweater or a sweatshirt and it's very, very, very warm. Um, it is waterproof, it's down filled and I would definitely recommend this coat. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I got it and it definitely had to be in my top 10 favorites because I'm definitely loving it right now. Um, it does have two pockets on the side and they are snap closures. Um, so that is super handy just to stick things in like your keys or your phone and it does have a let's see if I can get it undone it does have a button-up front closure and then a zipper I think it has yeah it has a side pocket inside it's like a breast pocket basically on the inside of the coat and that's what the inside looks like Number nine on my list of my top 10 current favorites for 2019 are the Sorel Joan of Arctic boots. 
And I actually have a confession to make. I haven't technically worn these outside yet, um, but I have worn them a lot inside. I've paired them up with different outfits. It's just not cold enough outside for me to wear a winter boot yet. Um, so that's the reason why I haven't actually worn them yet. They are supposed to be waterproof, so even though they are like a suede material, um, and this is supposed to be like a Sherpa lining, um, they are a little bit pricey, so they definitely were a splurge. I don't have a ton of winter boots, but when I saw these, I actually saw them on Lux Mummy's channel and I loved them. I needed to have them. Um, I would definitely recommend them. Sorel's a great brand. So even though I haven't technically worn them outside yet, I'm confident to say that yes, you guys will love them. Um, even though I haven't actually tested them out outdoors yet. But like I said, I've worn them a little bit inside. Um, I had read that you're supposed to size up, like if you want to wear a thick winter sock. In BC, like in the coastal region of BC, it doesn't get super, super cold. Um, so normally I'm a six. I ordered six and a half. I thought that would give me enough room. I probably can still only wear like a regular everyday sock. So if you do live in a colder area and you are going to be wanting to wear like a thick winter sock, perhaps go up a full size. So in that sense, maybe I should have gotten a seven. Um, but six and a half, I think is just going to work out just fine for me because my normal size is six. And yeah, do a little close up for you guys. These are absolutely so cute. I think they're going to be absolutely perfect for what I want them for. And I think if you guys are looking for a winter boot, definitely check these ones out. Okay, so number 10 of my top 10 current 2019 favorites is the Louis Vuitton Atrapreve Perfume. So I only have a sample size of it. And reason for that is it's pretty pricey. This one though, you guys, it smells so so good. They have a bunch of different perfumes and scents that you can smell when you are in the store, but this one, I don't know what it is, but it smells amazing. I only have the sample size in it. I've actually had a couple of them and I've gone through most of them. This is my last one. I don't have a full size in it yet. It comes in two different sizes, but they're both fairly pricey, so I don't have any of it yet. Um, it is on my Christmas wish list, so I will keep you guys posted on that. Okay guys, so that concludes my top 10 current favorites for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did so I know that you want to see more videos like this. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing below. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much. Bye. Open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized